Hello everybody, today I thought that I would make something dedicated to my love of the study of geography, the study of the earth. My favorite landform is the island. So I thought I would compile a list of the 100 largest islands in the world by surface area. Everything you're about to see I made. A lot of people know what number one is. Starting off with the largest is Greenland. It is part of Denmark. It's in the Danish well. It is 2.131 million square kilometers and it has its own flag. Number two is New Guinea, which is an internationally divided island. The western half is part of Indonesia and the eastern half is part of Papua New Guinea. Number three is Borneo. It's even more internationally divided. This section is known as Sarawak and it is part of Malaysia. The southern half is part of Indonesia and the extremely small part, two sections right here, is part of Brunei. Number four is Madagascar. The locals call it the left footprint of God, but I think it has a really unique biological layout since the western half or the western three-fourths or whatever are all plains where you can find the famous bo boabob tree and this part is extremely forested kind of like the west coast of the u.s beyond the sierra nevadas number five is buffine island named after the famous explorer in canada this is the largest island in the Canadian archipelago, and you can find the capital of the territory of Nunavut here, Iqaluit. Number six is Sumatra, the largest island in Indonesia, or second, third largest. Number seven is Honshu, the main island of Japan where the capital would be found, Tokyo if I didn't include it. Number eight is Victoria Island. It is famous for Pancake Island. It's an island in a lake, on an island in a lake, which was on an island. Number nine, no, you don't need to introduce, I don't need to introduce you to this. This is Great Britain, the main island of the United Kingdom, home to the capital, London, and these gray parts I'm including are for mountains, and the white parts mean it is snow. That's why this is white. Number 10 is Ellesmere Island. The gray is mountain, and the white, like these three sections, are snow. This is another Canadian archipelago island. Going over here, number 11 is... Sulawesi, which in my opinion is one of the weirdest looking islands, is part of Indonesia as well, and it is part of a unique country which makes up Indonesia. Number 12, everyone has also heard of it. It is the South Island, or, me, or it's the South Island of New Zealand. Less people live here. I tried to draw the flag of New Zealand. I don't think it looks so good. Number 13 is also another island in the same area, Java, which contains the capital of Indonesia, which would be Jakarta. Number 14 is another New Zealand island, the North Island, which would contain the capital of Wellington, not Auckland. Number 15 is Luzon, the main island of the Philippines. It is the most populated island, and it contains the capital of Manila. I'm going to put this flag back in my collection. By the way, this is my flag collection. Anyways, number, 17, or number 16 is Newfoundland, part of Canada. This is not part of the Canadian archipelago, and it makes up the largest population center of the newly established province of Newfoundland and Labrador. 
It's mostly just known for people outside of Canada for blocking Quebec's access to the Atlantic Ocean. Number 17 is its own country, and it is Cuba. The capital, Havana, would be right here. No references to that song. Number 18 is also its own country. It is Iceland. It's not heavily forested, and the sections that do have plants growing are mostly minor plains, and there are also some glaciers along with active and dormant volcanoes. Number 19 is Mindanao, the second largest island in the Philippines. Number 20 is Ireland, no one needs introduction. The west coast is extremely rugged and the east coast is home to Dublin, the capital, and the northern Ireland region, which is part of the UK. Number 21 is also another large island. This is Hokkaido, the second largest island in Japan. And it doesn't have as many people as Hanshu, so it counts as its own prefecture, or another equivalent for state. Number 22 is another internationally divided island. This is Hispaniola. This is Haiti, and this is the Dominican Republic. Port au Prix, the capital of Haiti, is here. And Santo Domingo, the capital of the Dominican Republic, would be around here. Number 23 is the first Russian island on this list, Sakhalin, and Japan at one point controlled it. It's the northernmost island of the Kuril Island region, but Russia took over in the Cold War. Number 24 is Banks Island, another Canadian archipelago island, which by the way, most of them are ruggy and wasteland, like it's all rock. Number 25 is its own country, Sri Lanka, and it is just off the coast of India of the province of Tamil Nadu. Number 26 is Tasmania of Australia. It's its own state, and the capital of it, which is Hobart, would be located around here. Number 27 is Devon Island, and it's also in the Canadian archipelago. Number 28 is an Antarctic island, meaning no one can claim it, according to the people who signed the Antarctic Treaty in the 1960s. Normally, you can't see it because it's under a glacier, but there have been photos of it when that glacier disappeared a few years ago. Yes, climate change is real, so you can see the island now. It looks like a sea, kind of. Number 29 is an internationally divided island. It has a rather long name of... Isla Grande Tierra del Fuego, or Island of Fire. It's in Patagonia, and it is divided between Chile and barely Argentina. Number 30 is Severny Island. It's another ice wasteland of Russia. It has mountains on the south, southern, west, and east coast. Number 31 is Berkner Island, also in Antarctica. Number 32 is Axel, he Axel, Axel Heiberg Island, named after a explorer. Number 33 is Melville Island, also named after an explorer. Number 34, it's also named after a poet who made Moby Dick, by the way. Number 34 is Southampton Island, named after the prominent city. Number 35 is the largest fluvial island, which fluvial islands are islands created by rivers. In this case, the Amazon. Number 36 is Speechbergen, which is the largest island in the archipelago of Svalbard, which Norway owns. Number 37 is Kyushu, the third major island of Japan. Number 38 is New Britain, part of Papua New Guinea. Number 39 is Taiwan, controversy. Anyways, number 40 is Prince of Wales Island in Canada. Number 41 is Yushni Island, part of Russia. Number 42 is Hainan, the largest island in the People's Republic of China. Controversy. Number, four, or number 43 is also pretty well known. This is Vancouver Island. It contains the capital of British Columbia, which is Victoria, even though Vancouver.
Vancouver is larger. Number 44 is Timor, is internationally divided. These two sections are part of Timor Les or East Timor, which name literally means East East, and this part is part of Indonesia. Number 45 is Sicily or Sicilia if you're from Italy like I am. This gray is one of the largest volcanoes. It is Mount Etna, which is highly active. Number 46 is Somerset Island. It's also all rock. It's part of the Canadian archipelago. Number 47 is Skotoni Island of Russia. Number 48 is Sardinia, which by the way is part of a uh, archipelago. It's a little bit northwest of Sicily and the language there is really cool. Number 49 is Banana Island, another fluvial island in Brazil. And number 50 is the fourth and last major island of Japan, which is Shikoku. It's a, it also contains, I mean, there's also Okinawa, which would be way out here, but I didn't include it since none of those islands are large enough for this list. This is the halfway point, by the way. Number 51 is Hamahera of Indonesia. I think it kind of looks like a face a little bit, but that's probably just me. Number 52 is Saram, also Indonesia. Number 53 is unique. This is New Caledonia. It's part of France as an overseas region. It also has its own flag, which is one of my favorite flags. I couldn't do just that in this video. So I tried to recreate it, but I don't know, that's just me. Number 54 is Bathurst Island, named after another explorer. It's a reoccurring theme. Number 55 is Prince Patrick Island. Another reoccurring theme is that Canadian and American islands, you'll see later, are named after royalty of the British monarchy, which has no power. Number 56 is Thurston Island in, in Antarctica. No one legally owns it or any part of Antarctica. Number 57 is, or this is another long name, it is Nordostlandet, and it's part of Norway. It's in the archipelago of Svalbard. Number 58 is Simbawa of Indonesia. Number 59, a communist alert, is an island known as October Revolution Island. A little history is, in October of 1918, the Russian Empire had a massive communist takeover, which led to the execution of the Romanov family. Not a pretty revolution, and then Lenin take, took over. There's also a homeless man named, or his name is Rashputin, and he inspired the popular song today. Number 60 is Flores Island, or Flower, it's in Indonesia. Number 61, another royal named island, is King William Island. Number 62 is Negros of the Philippines. You'll notice a lot of Spanish names, just like the Philippines was named after King Philip, which the Philippines gained independence from. Number 53, also the Philippines, is Samar. Number 64 is the westernmost island of the Philippines, which is Palawan. I'm not counting Sp the Spratly Islands, since seven nations claim it. Number 65 is Panay, also in the Philippines. Number 66 is Yasun de Rusa, or Dolak, and it's another flu semi-fluvial island. It would be a peninsula, but the, a river, which flows right here, cuts it off from Papua New Guinea. Or, New Guinea, sorry. Number fifty east or number sixty seven is Bangka of Indonesia. Number sixty eight is Elip Ringness Island, named after another explorer. Number sixty nine is Bolshevik Island, another communist reference. The Bolsheviks was the name of the Communist Party just in the Russian language, which by the way never completely lost control, even after the Soviet Union. A lot of ideals in the modern day Russian Federation's government are related, for example, totalitarianism. But anyways, number 70 is Jamaica, which is its own country. And by the way, this flag is the only one not to have red, white, or blue. Number 71 is Bila Island of Canada. Number 72 is Sumba, 
Number 73 is Minduro, often confused with Mindanao. Number 74 is part of a new country named Fiji. Like, new, because it hasn't been on the list yet. It contains the capital of Suva. Number 75, everyone has heard of it, is Hawaii, or the Big Island. I've been there, so have a lot of people. This is Mauna Loa, which is the largest volcano in the world. It's not the most active, which would be Kilauea, and there's also Mauna Kea. Number 76 is Cape, or is Cape Breton Island of Quebec, of, or sorry, Nova Scotia, which means New, New Scotland. This is in Canada. Number 77 is Prince Charles Island, also named after monarchy in the Canadian archipelago. Number 78 is another controversy hub, which is Bougainville Island. They want to break away from Papua New Guinea. They have their own flag, and they are trying to form a new country called the Republic of the Northern Solomons. But as of the making of this video, no one recognizes it. Number 79 is a rather well-known island in the United States, which is Kodiak Island of Alaska. Number 80 is the world's most controversial island, in my opinion, and that is Cyprus. Four political entities exist on it, which are the recognized Republic of Cyprus as being the legitimate country. But in the 1960s, one of their PMs said something that caused Turkey to want to invade. They, were, they invaded from the south or north part of the island since Turkey would be up here. And they established the unrecognized country of North Cyprus. Then the UK has these two research and military bases, Akrotiri and Dekelia. And to keep the Republic of Cyprus separate from the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, the UN established a buffer zone right here, which no one can cross unless they, got, or unless they get position. Sorry, unless they get permission from the UN. Number 81 is a territory of the US, Puerto Rico, which the capital of San Juan would be around up here. Number 82 is Cosmolets Island of Russia. Number 83 is Corsica, which has the weirdest language in my opinion. The person you see on their flag is a Moor, which is like it's disputed what type of moor this is, but moors are Islamic. Number 84 is Dis Disco Island, no jokes, Disco Island of Denmark, and is the largest island in Greenland, which itself is island, which is owned by Denmark. Number 85 is Kearney Island of Antarctica. No one is allowed to legally own it, which is also under two glaciers. Number 86 is Kilo Island of Chile and Patagonia. Number 77 is Peru of Indonesia. Number 88 is also pretty well known. It is Crete of Greece. They have their own flag and you might see it if you go there. But Crete is another part of Greece, so it's not its own country. 89 is Anticosti Island of Quebec. It's the largest island in Quebec and it's part of Canada. Number 90 is Roosevelt Island of Antarctica. No one's allowed to have it by law. Number 91 is Wrangell Island of Russia, which, by the way, people arrived here in around 2000 BC. That, that might be off by a little, but anyways, people got to Wrangell Island north of Russia, which is one of the coldest places in the world, before they got to Portugal. The westernmost point of Europe. Number 92 is, is Topinambarana of Brazil. It's actually an archipelago of four islands. The largest is called Topinambarana West, part of Brazil. Number 93 is New Ireland of Papua New Guinea. Number 94 is Lest of the Philippines, which names me, which that name translates to East. Number 95 was the hardest island to draw is East Falkland, part of the controversial Falkland Islands, which is recognized to be part of the United Kingdom. The capital of the Falkland Islands, Port Stanley, or Stanley would be over here. Number 96 is Zealand, which yes, that's where Zeal New Zealand gets its name. There's two Zealands in Europe, New Zealand 
or Zealand of Denmark and Zealand of ne the Netherlands, not to be confused with each other. Number 97 is Cornwallis Island of Canada, named after the prominent British general, which controversially he fought against the Americans in the American Revolution. There's also a county in England named after him. Number 98 is Prince of Wales Island in the U.S., not Canada. There's two different Prince of Wales Islands. Number 99 would be a truly miserable place to be is Kerguelen Islands, or the main island of Kerguelen, which it also has the ominous name of the Desolation Islands. And number 100 is rather unknown. It is Sipel Island of Antarctica. It's all ice and going from 2 million square kilometers down to 2,470 miles. And that concludes the 100 largest islands in the world. I spent 10 days creating this. Focus. So I spent, a I spent 10 days creating this. I did 10 islands a day and I'm proud of how it looks. For example, I do I did just this side in one day and I will continue to until I finished it two days ago. So I thought you guys would be bored, so I decided that I would make a video of myself going through it and I would upload it. I am a really big geography fan. If you saw my uh, flag collection, I also have travel souvenirs from places I've been to. And that is a map of the world I have. Yeah, that was the 100 largest islands in the world. Thanks for watching.